right, my friend Drake wants to know, what is your advice for eating healthy? I'm gonna let Ryan answer some of this too because he eats way healthier than I do. I think a big part of eating healthy is not having junk food where you can just like grab it all the time. So just don't keep it in your cabinets. Don't keep junk food just lying around because you will eat it. Even if you say you're not, you're going to. And I believe everything in moderation. You gotta keep your sanity, friends. Keep your sanity. Don't eat any sugar, period. You just ate a big plate of French toast. I mean, that's fair, but it is Sunday. But also, I'm big on intermittent fasting. Yeah, Ryan do does a lot of fasting, which... Google that if you're interested. Yeah, if you're interested in fasting, look into it. It really does make a difference. I, I've done it before, but I get so hangry. If you're the hangry type, I don't recommend fasting. Uh, you okay? You just like... Totally ran into the door. No, I'm gonna sit down to finish this Q&A. Who are your favorite YouTubers to watch? So, I, when I do sit down and like watch a little YouTube, I love Casey Neistat. I think he's Casey Neistat. I love watching Eric and Jessica. Eric Conover and his girlfriend Jessica, they live in New York City and they kind of did, I think they just vlog. They just seem so humble and so nice and they're always themselves. And I love this woman who, I just love her. She's got like this calming vibe when she talks and I, I love her. Her name's, what's her name? Lydia Elise Millen. Lydia Elise Millen. So I'll link her channel below too. She's in the UK, but she just seems so sweet and so nice and she always does hauls and stuff like that. So I think she's a good person to watch also. Speaking of this question, who do you guys think that I should collaborate with? I've never done a collaboration before and I've kind of been wondering like what that's about and I don't know. Let me know who you guys think. Actually, instead of letting me know, you should, well yeah, you should let me know but then you should go send that person a comment and tell them that they should collaborate with me. Kind of get the ball rolling, you know? Do you believe that emerging bloggers need to move to the big city to make it? P.S. We miss you on Instagram. I just posted an I'm sorry message to you guys on Instagram because I really haven't been on Instagram lately. I don't know what's wrong with me. Sorry. I'm, I'm back. I'm coming back. Do I think emerging bloggers need to move to the big city to make it? Absolutely not. No way. You can start a blog from anywhere. Your, your followers fall in love with you and your style and not where you live. Don't let that stop you. Don't let living anywhere besides a big city stop you from starting a blog, 100%. Start wherever you are. How do you stay motivated and how do you manage to wake up so early? I stay motivated because I do things that I love. If I didn't love doing YouTube videos and style videos and styling and fashion, then I wouldn't be motivated to do this. But. This is something that I am so in love with and I'm so in love with you guys and the um, interaction that we have, that is what keeps me motivated. So if you're doing something that you truly love doing, you'll always be motivated, you won't have to worry about that. And how do you wake up super early? <laughs> I don't know. When I was in college and all through high school, I could sleep until 3 p.m. and not even wake up. I don't know, I think it's just as you get older, you. I don't know. I'm wide awake at 6 a.m. I think it also has to do with the fact that I go to bed around 10, so my body just automatically wakes up at 6. If you're not an early riser, I suggest maybe going to bed earlier. Um, that way you can wake up early and just really have the whole day ahead of you. Does that mean I'm getting old? Please say no. Also, do you use different lenses for the how to style videos? Because you mentioned you use a Sony A5100 in a different video. Yes. Um, Ryan and I use the Sony A5100 for everything. We have been looking into an, a new camera that we might get soon, but I will let you guys know once I switch cameras, that way you're just kind of in the loop and know what's going on behind the scenes. I just gotta keep you in the loop, don't worry. I'm not gonna change cameras and not tell you guys. Are we planning to restock the Bowery Top? That's a good question. To be determined. I don't know if I'm gonna restock the Bowery Top. I do know that there is another really cool product coming to you guys soon. Can't wait. How do you look for such good music for your videos? SoundCloud, number one. SoundCloud, YouTube. YouTube, 
yeah, there's a YouTube channel out there that's called uh, No Copyright Sounds. Trap Nation. Trap Nation. Join the family. Come here, you. Come here. Do you like it when I talk like that? Yeah. <laughs> Tube, SoundCloud, Trap City, Trap Nation, No Copyright Sounds, Hero Board, and... Are you writing this down? Yeah. It, it's not like we just type something in and we find something. It's like digging down into the well, yeah. depths. It's listening a lot. To <laughs> a lot. A hours. Of bad songs to find the good ones. Yeah, we listen for hours. But it's your favorite song for the moment and fa favorite song of all time. Uh. I met Natasha Bedingfield the other day, so I've been singing her song. <laughs> non-stop in my head, but I only know one. I'm trying to find a lighting ring to start making YouTube videos. Which one do you use or what do you think is best? I have a Diva ring light. I don't think I've used it in months because I normally just sit in front of my window and let natural light come in. Ring light is good for when you're shooting at night or when you're shooting an up close makeup tutorial um, and you really wanna highlight everything on your face. Got it on Amazon and it's great, I will link that below because we searched forever trying to find one that we liked. So it would have been super helpful if, I, if someone was just like, here, this is the one you need, buy this one. All right, next question. Ryan, since you are a business owner, what tips can you... It's my dad, he butt dials me all the time because I'm the first on his favorites list. So someone also asked me how to grow their YouTube channel. Um, I'm gonna let Ryan take this one because I feel like this is kind of more his expertise, something that he's really good at. He's very smart, so. So to grow a YouTube channel, you need to figure out what market you're in, meaning what type of videos you wanna make. Watch a lot of what other people are doing and see what is working and what's not working. And you can judge by that to see how many views they're getting and what their subscriber base looks like. See what videos get a lot of activity. And then you can essentially make the same type of a video, but you can put your own spin on it. You need to make sure that your titles are optimized for what people are searching for. You're saying it's like all in the title. There's a lot of it in the title. And in your description and in your tags as well. Utilize those tags. So Ryan and his friend mm -hmm. Lowe's, who you guys met actually in one of our blogs, they um, are starting a project called Young, Rich, and Fit. And it's basically kind of a community. You know how like us, like mm -hmm. me and, and you guys are like a fashion community. Um, you know, we love style, we're positive, you know, we're successful, like that's what we're about. We're about building each other up. Ryan and his friend Los are kind of doing the same thing on the opposite spectrum with um, more of a male audience. I don't know, I think it's just such a cool project and I really wanted to share that with you guys because um, if you have husbands or boyfriends or even if you're interested, um, you know, in seeing this grow, like something cool to know. You're so sweet. She's so sweet. <laughs> I'm not. There's an Instagram page up right now. YouTube channel is coming soon. And yeah, it'll be interesting. We'll talk a lot about how we've built our lives in a certain way to where we can be fit and have fun and kind of work from wherever we want and just how to build a life around that. And we want to build a community of guys that are all about that, want to create that for themselves because it's truly possible for anyone. Go follow the Instagram page because they post a lot of um, just quotes. like really cool motivational quotes and um, every, every time I'm having like a day where I'm like feeling kind of unmotivated, I always see Young Rich and Vet come up and their their photos are so amazing and just so inspiring. Last question, we were almost done but then a question just came through. What is your secret of your long relationship? I feel like a perfect relationship doesn't just happen overnight, nor is there any such thing as a perfect relationship, but I would say, Ryan and I have built our relationship on trust, honesty, communication. Those are the three key ingredients to a healthy relationship. Let's use the word healthy instead of perfect because there is no perfect relationship. We actually just kind of mastered our communication like this past yeah, year. Yeah, like this year. Yeah, because we're also like, not only are we, you know, in a serious relationship, but we also are business partners and he has a business mind, I have a creative mind, and they work so well together, but they also clash a lot. Trust, obviously, I think any relationship is built on trust, and if you don't trust the person that you're with, it's 
never gonna work. I know before Ryan, I was in an unhealthy relationship where there was no trust, there was no communication, and there was absolutely no honesty. And you know, you just know, like you just know when something's not right. So do something about it. Don't make yourself miserable. It all comes down to kind of just be a good human being overall. If you're doing something, you think, oh, this is kind of shady. And don't do that. Don't be that person that does weird things for no reason. Or don't be in a relationship. Well, yeah. If you want to do weird things and just do whatever you want, then choose to not be in a relationship because you don't want to burden another person who might be more into it than you. That's not cool. But I've known for ever since like a month after I met her that I wanted to be with her for the longest time. Evers. Evers? Evers. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> now, I have a question for you guys. Right now in this moment, whose feet stink? Me or her? My feet? <laughs> yeah, I smell it. That is not my feet. Okay. Not her feet then. What? <laughs> I don't smell anything. I think it's like whoever smelled it dealt it. No, we don't play by childish rules here. <laughs> we, we play by scents and smells. <laughs> no, God. Just say this, I think. No. I think that is it. I think that's all the questions for right now. Sorry about that. Time's a ticking now. We gotta get going. See ya. Am I gonna be cold in this top? No, it's like long sleeves. Why does your breast smell like strawberries? I drank a super fresh drink, girl. You drank a fresh drink? Why? Not like How? Super fresh in like the urban terms. Oh. No. Hey, Ryan. What's up? Don't you hate it when you lose your keys and then they're in your hand? <laughs> How about this? No. 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 